first of all, for post-processing, we want to make a contour of uh, pressure, temperature, and velocity on the inner tube of heat exchanger. So before uh, making a contour, I should hide the wall tube, wall shell, I mean, and then make the tube visible. Now, from upper toolbar, I can select contour and uh, then define a name for it. Or another way is to uh, use it from insert tab and then contour. First, we should uh, select the domain. Mostly we use all domains, but here I have two different uh, domains, shell and tube, and I can have them uh, separately. But as usual, I use all domains. Then I should uh, define the location of the contour. I want it on the uh, inner tube, uh, which is known as wall tube, shell tube, shadow. I mean in the boundary conditions. So I select uh, wall tube, shell tube, shadow, and then select my variable, which is, temp uh, which is pressure first. And then we will investigate temperature and velocity. If I apply that, then uh, you can have and see the pressure distribution along the tube. But here is an option. If it's global, the uh, values are dedicated and gets from all domain. But when it's local, uh, it's just about the, uh, the selected uh, boundary condition, which is tube here. And the last option here is the number of contours. By increasing this, for example, if I change it to 30, the contour will be more smooth and you can uh, hardly distinguish the uh, boundaries of uh, colors. As mentioned, uh, we want to see the temperature along the tube as well. So what I need to do is just to change the variable to temperature and nothing else. Another thing I forgot to mention that is two other options in branch drop down list. One of them is user specified. As you can see in local range, uh, the range of temperature is uh, from about uh, 460 Kelvin to 700 Kelvin. So uh, if I use user specified and uh, define a desired uh, range from, for example, 615 Kelvin up to 700 Kelvin and apply that then I can have the uh, contour of the specific range and the last option is the val value list I can define uh, several uh, list of values for the legend and uh, then apply to the contour for example if I use 0 and 1 then the range will be like this, but if I choose another one and uh, add an other value of 600, then it gets to three parts. For the purpose of tutorial, I have defined all of them, but uh, mostly we use local option. Now imagine that I want to see the velocity contour inside the tubes. I mean the velocity of flow inside the tubes. So uh, what should I do? If I choose uh, velocity from variable list, then uh, due to the no slip condition of the walls, the velocity will be zero at every point. So what should I do is to make a plane in uh, YZ for example direction and then uh, have a section of the tube and then put the contour on it. So from location, plane, uh, I call it plane one and uh, change the method to yz with x coordinate of uh, zero. As you can see, I have defined the plane, so I hide it. But now in the locations drop down list, I have plane one. If I choose that and uh, lift the variable to velocity, now there is a clear contour of velocity. In labels tab, uh, there is an option to show numbers. If I apply it, you can see that 
uh, it label all of the uh, ranges from 1 to 29 and label it on the contour I can change the uh, font and also the color but it's not very uh, handy and not applicable and the next tabs I mean render and view we have defined just like before with the same options I can increase the transparency and other options one of the most important parts in every exported contour vector and other uh, stuffs is the legend we need an appropriate legend to use it uh, in our articles and reports so uh, we should uh, modify the default legend of CFD post or make a new one to make a new one uh, you can have it from uh, upper toolbar or from insert tab just like always uh, we can select legend but for now we want to modify the default one first of all there is an option to choose the title of the legend which is located on the top of the legend for now it's just a variable uh, that's velocity but uh, it can be variable and location and uh, the other one user specified for example I uh, enter velocity plus uh, its unit in the parentheses so if I apply it you can see my defined uh, title but mostly we use a uh, variable alone under the title mode there is a checkbox uh, that relates to the unit which is shown uh, under the legend if I uncheck it then there would be no unit and uh, the other option is to use legend vertically or horizontally it's all depend on your work and uh, what you want at the location section I can uh, just set the justification of X and Y coordinates of the legend left center or right and uh, the the other option is to use none of them and then uh, define uh, manually more details are in appearance tab uh, you can change the size of it or the aspect uh, which relates to the titles uh, at the near but uh, maybe the most important uh, option in appearance tab is the precision type to be scientific or fixed you can uh, define the precision uh, and just not to show its scientific format the other options relates to the font, the uh, color of the uh, text and its rotation and height so for an example let me change the font and the color turns to uh, green for example and apply a rotation and uh, make them bigger another option for post-processing is to create the velocity vectors uh, like always we need a plane to put the vectors on uh, so I decided to choose the defined plane at the middle uh, again so before get to that I hide the contour and normalize on the plane from the upper toolbar like always there is vector and uh, you can have this option from uh, insert tab the settings are very similar to contour settings uh, so I set the location to the plane one but for sampling we've got uh, many options the first sampling method is equally spaced it means uh, you define the number of vectors uh, which is 100 right now if I apply it then you can see the uh, 100 vectors on the plane by increasing this number there would be more vectors and uh, just let me hide the plane uh-huh 
no no more options here. The other uh, method for sampling is rectangular grid. We've got uh, two parameters to uh, set the settings. One of them is spacing, which means uh, the space or distance between uh, vectors are defined. If I uh, decrease that, then there would be more vectors. Just a little more. Oh, it's too much. Let me define manually. It takes a little time. And uh, the aspect ratio option uh, relates to the distance between the arrows. As you can see right now, the distance between arrows in Z direction and Y direction is the same because the aspect ratio is 1. But if I decrease that, then the distances would be different. Just let me increase the spacing and then decrease the aspect ratio to 0.7. You can see the effect. And at last we have grid angle uh, which rotates the uh, vectors. Uh -huh. The other sampling method is vertex. It creates vectors on every nodes of the mesh grid. So uh, more fine mesh results in more vectors. And there is a reduction factor if I need to uh, decrease the number of vectors, then I can define uh, another factor, for example, or let me increase that to 5, then you can see that uh, the number of vectors will be reduced. The other provided sampling method is face center uh, as it's, it creates the vectors on, uh, at the center of every cell again with the uh, reduction factor and the other choice is free edge uh, which creates uh, vectors at every edges but uh, it can be very applicable and at last there is a random choice to uh, select a uh, number of vectors and it will create them randomly. From projection section, uh, we can choose the coordinate frame. It means uh, we choose uh, the direction of the vectors. For example, right now it's in the direction of Y and Z, but if I select X, then the vectors would be in the direction of X. And uh, the other option is normal. Uh, obviously, it creates the uh, vectors perpendicular to the uh, defined surface, like, like now. And the last one is just like the uh, first one. In the color tab, uh, the properties of the color uh, is uh, existed. For example, uh, if I change the mode to variable, then I can uh, color the vectors with different variables. For example, pressure, or uh, just like before velocity. And uh, we discussed about range in contours, and local is the preferred one in most of the cases. But uh, the color scale relates to the legend, uh, we want to uh, be linear or logarithmic. It is used uh, commonly in, uh, in cases with, uh, with a very vast uh, range. And the color map uh, changes the color of the uh, vectors with a different gradient, for example, blue to white. 
and uh, in symbol tab which can be uh, vital for many cases uh, discusses about the symbol size and uh, the shape of it as you can see right now the uh, larger arrows means uh, larger velocity but if I click on normaler symbols then uh, the size of them become equal and uh, the other option is to uh, increase or decrease the symbol size the render and view tabs were discussed in uh, contour section 